Today I'm gonna to demonstrate something that uh, most everybody knows how to do, but you'd be surprised at uh, people that don't know how to do it. Uh, maybe like a new gun owner, or uh, you know, just someone someone new to the whole firearm experience. And it's gonna be Dylan with the Glock here. Now this is a 26. It doesn't matter what Glock you use though for this. Oh, excuse me. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to break it down. Uh, field strip it to uh, clean it. Um, I had a couple of friends recently. Uh, they've never uh, owned a Glock before. They didn't know how to take it down. And I uh, just want to do this video just in case there's some people out there that don't know how. And uh, we'll go ahead and start it right here. First, you want to make sure this gun is unloaded. Now, I know this one is loaded right now. It just come out of my holster. Um, throw the magazine and the ammo away over here to the side. Now, some folks would think that the gun's unloaded because it took the magazine out. That is not the case. I've already cleared this gun before this video, but you do want to make sure that it is unloaded. And it is. No magazine, no round in the chamber. It is unloaded. Now, you want to do this because during the uh, disassembly process of this and breaking it down, you have to pull the trigger on the Glock, which uh, some people complain about. To me, it's not a big deal because I make sure my gun's unloaded first anyway. And then once I pull the trigger, I do so in a safe direction. That way, if there is ever one in the chamber, it discharges in a safe direction. And, uh, you know, you still, <laughs> you don't want to be firing the gun off when you're disassembling it. But at least that would, if you're pointing in a safe direction when you uh, pull the trigger, you're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. We're just going to pull over here. All right. Is click triggers back the gun is uh, safe now what we're gonna do and this is how I do it there's other ways you're gonna put your thumb here on the back strap and just wrap your fingers around the top of the slide here I'll try to show you this okay and what you're gonna do is is hook this uh, pointer finger on the rear side right there and when you do you squeeze your hand together See how it's uh, pulling that slide back just by me putting a little bit of pressure on it. You're gonna put just a little bit of pressure on it about right there, just a little bit, just so it pops back. And then what you're gonna do with your other hand is there's these notches on each side. I'll show you right here. There on that side, and you have that one on that side. So you're gonna pull it back just that little bit, reach your pointer finger and thumb and just grab those and pull them down. They should be easy if you have the slide back. Pull them down, let the slide go. Now the slide then will just come off of the frame and you have the frame there, you have the slide here. You pop your uh, spring out, drop your barrel out, and that is pretty much all you have to do for basic cleaning purposes. Now to put it back together, we're just gonna Pop the barrel back in. You want to put the, make sure you put the right in. Watch it when you take it out. The right in, the bigger in. This is a Gen 4. Um, bigger in goes right there into the front. And then you slightly compress it and make sure that it is seated all the way down there. Okay. Next, of course, you would put a little bit of, little bit of your lubricant or whatever you want to on the uh, slide rails. These are the slide rails here, one, two, three, four, and they uh, go in the in the slide grooves there of the slide. So what we're going to do is we're going to put those two grooves. I'll try to show you this. Put those two grooves in the back of the slide. Once you do that, it slides over, comes to the back, right there as you can see, and then you're just going to pull it all the way back. And when you do that, that reassembles it. Okay, and it's good to go. And it's still, uh, I'll just pull it right here because it is unloaded. Trigger works. You're good to go. That's all you have to do to uh, disassemble and reassemble a Glock. It's pretty easy. Uh, if you know somebody that needs to see this video that may be uh, new to firearms and maybe need to see this, uh, share the video with them. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content. I really appreciate you watching. Y'all have a good one.